What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, we're going to be taking a look at Bombshell. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the other day I showed you both the sludges from Wave 1 and Wave 2, and we discussed which one was better. Well, now I want to have a look at Bombshell. And I'm going to discuss which one is better. Now, the thing here is that these are not created equal. The Wave 1 Bombshell is an 8-cost character. The Wave 2 Bombshell is an 11-cost character. So one of the things we need to point out right at the beginning, these cannot ever really serve the same purpose. And when we do a 1-to-1 -one -one comparison, we need to take account of the fact that they are not the same cost of character. So, if we start off having a little bit of a look at the stats, Old Bombshell has lower health quite considerably. We would expect that it's a much cheaper card. Health of 10 is actually below average for Wave 1, whereas an 8 cost was average. But if we have a look at the stats, it's really quite nice. In bot mode, we see an attack of 5 above average and a defense of 2 average. But in alt mode, we see a defense of four, which is huge. That's double the average. Okay, attack of three is not great, but a defense of four is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely huge. And that alone is pretty good. Now, if we have a look at new bombshell, we see a health of 15, which on the one hand is very high. On the other hand, you're an 11 cost character. You'd expect some good stats. But that's where it falls down. The attack is 2 or 1. Ouch. And the defense is 1. Those are bad stats. There's not a single stat which is more than half of the average. That's ridiculous. Bombshell has terrible stats. And is an 11 cost. Although it has got high health. The thing to remember is that old Bombshell is a vanilla character and new Bombshell's got some skills and they are very tasty skills indeed. In alt mode, when you flip to it, draw a card, fine. That's about it. New Bombshell, when you attack, you may scrap cards from your hand equal to number of stars on the defender if you do KO the defender. And it has been confirmed in the FAQ that there is no fight. You don't flip any battle cards, none of that. There is no fight. The KO happens before the fight. Bombshell is swinging wildly at the air, according to the FAQ. So this is something you build a deck around. This is something where you absolutely make the focus of a deck. And it's got to be a drawing deck. This has got to be a deck where the purpose is you draw as many cards as you can. Because look, maybe you're against a combiner team. Heck, maybe you're against Devastator. And maybe you end up with a scavenger opposite you. And it is a four-cost character. Four cards in hand, scrap them all, get the KO, that's fine. But maybe you're against a Grimlock. Old Grimlock. Wave one Grimlock. And that's a ten-cost character. A little bit awkward. That's going to be harder to KO. And then maybe you're against an Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend which has 13 stars, getting quite a bit awkward now. And then let's say that you're against the Devastator deck, but they've actually formed into Devastator. They are a 25-star character, and that's, uh, that's difficult, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> that's really difficult. Not to mention that if Bombshell ever actually gets really, really good... We've got a couple of cards that just act as full-on silver bullets. System Reboot. Each player scraps their hand and draws four cards. Okay, that's still going to allow you to KO something like Scavenger. But it's not going to do very good against most other things. So, we've got some good skills on New Bombshell. The thing is, if we go back to Wave 1, these Insecticons are meant to swarm. The whole entire point of them is swarming there was literally a card called swarm 
which let you flip a battle card for each Insecticon with which you began the game. Each orange you flip, your opponent takes one damage on one of their characters. Each blue you flip, you repair one damage from one of your characters. That was very, very nice. And similarly, we had Kickback, which let you flip two more battle cards for each other Insecticon with which you began the game. Doesn't matter how many have been KO'd. They were meant to swarm and really... We had a four-wide Insecticon deck, which was Scrapnel, a seven cost, Barrage, a seven cost, putting you up to 14, Ransack, a six cost that put you up to 20 stars, and then you'd add Kickback for your final five stars. Cool, there's your 25 stars. And you could play a four-wide Insecticon deck with Bombshell. That was possible, but it was also suboptimal. You didn't have any choices. You had to play Kickback. You had to play Ransack. Because they're six and five cost characters. And then the two of them together with Bombshell would put you up to 19. Which means you would have to play the only other six cost Insecticon. Which meant you were playing Chop Shop. Which is a nice enough card. Problem is, you lose Barrage. Now, Barrage is quite nice. Bold 2 against a damaged enemy. Flip 2, alt mode, one of your characters gets pierced 2. But you lose Insecticon Scrapnel. And if you lose Insecticon Scrapnel, then you lose the leader. That means you can't take more than 3 from a single attack. You lose your tank. Although it's kind of weird thinking of a 7 health character as a bit of a tank. Scrapnel's great. And you lose that. So you couldn't really play Bombshell in a 4-wide, and you could, but it would give you a massively suboptimal deck. So what Bombshell, old Bombshell does, is it just gives you a defender. The best thing about Wave 1 Bombshell is sitting in alt mode with a defense of 4 in a blue heavy deck and just making it so your opponent finds it really hard to damage you. You'll still be vulnerable to Pierce. Something like RC comes along that's got Pierce equal to her attack. That's a little bit of a problem. Something like Megatron Decepticon Leader comes along. Which starts off with Pierce 3. And then maybe it grabs a Fusion Cannon of Megatron which gives it another... Pierce free, and then as long as they flip a single orange icon to put themselves at an attack of six, they are guaranteeing six damage. Yeah, the problem is whenever you play heavy blue and you try and go defense, you do become vulnerable to Pierce. You also incidentally become vulnerable to stuff like Zap or Bolt of Lightning that do what I like to term cheeky damage. Now, the other big difference between them Wave 1 Bombshell is a melee character. And that gives you access to two of my favourite cards. Body Armour, which gives you Tough Free. And Power Sword, that gives you Bold Free. And clearly here with Bombshell, I'm thinking, given a Body Armour, Defense of 4 and Tough Free, and you're going to be looking pretty good. You're going to be looking pretty beefy. Bombshell, on the other hand, is a specialist. And although we had some cards in Wave 1, I think the better one here really is Field Communicator, one of the cards that I was lucky enough to reveal. When you put it on a specialist, you scrap the top card of your deck, and you may play it. Plus, it has a white icon, which is pretty nice, because the first white icon you flip while attacking or defending lets you flip two extra cards, and that's lovely. So there are pros and cons for both of them, but I do need to come down and make a decision. I have promised myself that in all of these videos where I'm comparing two characters, I will make a definitive decision and tell you which one is better. So here's the summation. In terms of stats, it's actually Wave 1 Bombshell, even though it was a cheaper character, which is a bit weird. But the thing is, I don't really know where Wave 1 Bombshell sits. It's not really part of the Insecticon deck that most people are playing. And although it is a very good defender, you basically have to go in a full defense deck, playing stuff like body armor, playing a defender. And look, in that, it has a niche. That is its niche. Whereas new Bombshell, okay, it's an 11 cost, and okay, the stats aren't great, but it's got a phenomenal skill in bot mode, which can let you run through other characters, and you just go, right, so I'm playing a deck of a whole bunch of draw power and trying to get cheeky one-hit KOs. Let's do this.
So I'm coming down on wave two bombshell. I think new bombshell is better than old bombshell. I love that you've got specialists here, especially because field communicator is going to help you draw all of those cards that you need. And I think this skill is worth playing with and worth building a deck around. Old bombshell, I love the defense. I love that it's a melee character. But I don't know if I'm putting it in decks above other 8-cost characters. The one thing I will say is, I don't think either of these are actually ending up in an Insecticon deck. Or at least a traditional Insecticon deck. Which is in and of itself slightly weird. Alright ladies and gentlemen. That's what I think. I think Wave 2 Bombshell is the better one. But I would very much like to know what you think about this. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the rule. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk about games and have a lot of fun. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wossy Plays.